What's up, Gabe? Bruce Dreamcast Guy here, and today we're talking about Resident Evil because a gigantic leak has just come out that explains the future of the franchise. Apparently, Resident Evil 9 has secretly been delayed, and they're making a Resident Evil Code Veronica remake. Now, let me explain why this is such a big deal and take a look at these leaks because I think now is a great time to get excited. Hi, I hope you're having a great day. If you could, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, we're going to be taking a look at a couple different people that have seemingly verified these leaks, but essentially, the short and sweet is the fact that the next couple years for Resident Evil are about to be very different, and if anything, even better, even bigger budget. Now, this is Dusk Golem, also called the Aesthetic Gamer. Uh, his name's Ryan, very nice guy. I've had a chance to talk to him a couple times. Now, his thing is... If he tries to talk about things revolving around Resident Evil, he wants it to be the most accurate leaks possible. Not just conjecture, not just assumptions. He tries to back stuff up. Now, if you actually go through his tweets and stuff, a, a lot of times he'll actually leak things that aren't even finished. He'll post developer art or, or all sorts of stuff that definitely proves that this guy, however he's happening to be getting information, it's 100% legit. Now, he says this, Okay, I'm going to be the one to burst the bubble in a bigger way as to what's going on with Resident Evil stuff. First, I would wipe out expectations of Resident Evil 9 being announced during the summer. The inertial murmurs I heard now believe are right, and RE8's announcement is further away than this upcoming summer. Sorry for the back and forth on that. Now, previously, he had sort of speculated and with his own internal knowledge, thought that Resident Evil 9 is far enough along that we could get at least a teaser trailer, a, a logo reveal, some sort of acknowledgement from Capcom that the project even exists. Well, now he's saying, nope, the game is far enough away that it's not going to be revealed at like Summer Games Fest, which does suck. But at this point, I and pretty much everybody else has complete faith in Capcom. They're one of the biggest companies in Japan, and it is purely because their games just keep getting more amazing and selling more numbers and straight up being more epic than the predecessors. But this is what he says. Here's the other part of the reason I wanted to talk about this. Uh, like two weeks ago, I talked about some big rumors that were bubbling to the surface about a apparent Resident Evil 1 remake. Now, while I was excited about this, and a lot of people have been hyped about the idea of it, it sounds like that is not true. Apparently, for whatever reason, people have been spreading this discussion that Resident Evil 1 was going to get a secondary remake to bring it more in line with the other remakes we've been getting. RE2, RE3, RE4, which are more of like standard third-person shooters and are incredibly fun. They wanted to take the classic Resident Evil and bring it up to be a bit more modern. Apparently, that is not in development at all. Now, games a lot of times are in development for three, four, or five years. So the fact that it's not even like in pre-production, I believe this, but uh, it is also a bit sad to me because I was excited about the idea of the remake. Okay, next up, Resident Evil 5 remake is also not in active development. So yeah, at the end of Resident Evil 4 remake, there were some pretty clear hints, clues that we we're getting an RE5 remake. At some point, apparently that one also is not real, but here's the part of it that I think is crazy, crazy, crazy. What they're working on is a Resident Evil Code Veronica and Resident Evil Zero remakes. What the heck? I've talked to many others behind the scene, and at this point, it's something I've heard over a year ago. I think this is going to get out whether I say it or not. So, wow. Okay, so let's explain why this is so awesome, and let's talk about the hype around this. Uh, it seems like some people that are kind of outside the Resident Evil ecosystem are confused 
by the layers of hype. The fact that each of these games, if you haven't grown up playing Resident Evil, perhaps you don't really grasp how good these remakes have been. The fact that they're faithful to the source material while having better action, better scares, better monster design, and just generally being cooler to look at, obviously. I think people are kind of taking for granted the fact that these Resident Evil remakes have been a tremendous undertaking to make the best horror ever even better. And each of them has been selling like crazy, especially RE2 Remake and Resident Evil 4 Remake last year were huge financial boons for Capcom, and now it seems like they're investing to make those even better. And the two most controversial Resident Evils of all time, in my opinion at least, has always been Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil Code Veronica because they're kind of goofier entries. A lot of RE0 takes place on a train with like weird uh, slugs that take over people's minds mines, or sorry, they're leeches, and then Resident Evil Code Veronica, I've always been a big defender of it. And like, yeah, it has a lot of backtracking, yeah, the story is a bit cartoonish, and it does get a little bit anime-ish at times, but I think these games have always been very underappreciated. They're games that take the core DNA of Resident Evil and blow it up in a different direction, but I think what's funny is that people are kind of hungry for Code Veronica specifically. The other day, I was walking through the mall uh, on a date with my girlfriend. This guy sprinted across the food court and goes, Dreamcast guy, I have a question. And I'm like, oh, hey, bud, what's up? And he's like, hey, do you want a Resident Evil 1 remake or a Code Veronica remake? I would do anything for a Code Veronica remake. And I was like, well, that's so cool. So you guys got to understand, the Resident Evil fans are ravenous for remakes. These things are not just cool. They are the kind of things that people literally wait years to play. I think the Code Veronica remake is going to be massive. But okay, here's the one bad part of this. I am I am obviously I'm disappointed about the fact that the Resident Evil 9 Apocalypse is the rumor is that it's getting pushed back to late 2025 or early 2026. Now, this isn't too terribly surprising. Uh, other people like other reporters and leakers are chiming in and saying, okay, this is definitely correct news. The reason I'm not surprised about this delay is that apparently there are talks about Resident Evil 9 being open world. Now, that sounds shocking to those who have not been playing every Capcom game, but I guess to me it isn't a giant shock. I mean, Dragon's Dogma 2 being a huge game based in the RE engine, obviously things like uh, freaking Street Fighter 6, as wild as that is, even that had an open world like adventure mode that was very fun called World Tour, even Resident Evil 4 Remake actually allowed us to explore the village and do side quests and backtrack much easier and in a much bigger scope. Like, there has been backtracking and puzzles and stuff and of course every Resident Evil, but RE4 took it to the next level, in my opinion. So I think them trying to push Resident Evil 9 into this bigger scope, bigger dev cycle, and honestly, higher quality, I'm definitely ready for it. The delay is not shocking, but of course it is disappointing. But these have just been some off-the-cuff thoughts, because honestly, this seems awesome. <laughs> what do you guys think, though? Are you excited for the future of Resident Evil, or does this seem like a big old blasé? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and please keep dreaming. Man, I pretty much started this channel to be a Resident Evil and Final Fantasy YouTuber. But I don't think I ever could have imagined that Resident Evil and Final Fantasy would keep getting better and better and better. But you know what? I love it. This is the best timeline. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last. Or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.